Congratulations, sir. Have you uh, figured out exactly what you're going to spend your $50,000 on yet? <laughs> Not a damn thing. <laughs> uh, no, nah, man, uh, it's still surreal right now. Man, I'm trying to cash it whole moment right now you came in and said hey man i like being the underdog you know it's it's fine but i mean did you go in at all with like a chip on your shoulder tonight thinking man people you know this is the guy that everybody's talking about uh personally yeah but at the end of the day like i said a lot of people don't know anything about fighting and they only follow the person with the most follows you know what i mean so i'd rather just stay under the radar and keep doing what i'm doing mm -hmm. We'll talk about the spectacular moment in just a second. But as far as the fight itself, I mean, did it feel any different this time? Any more comfortable than, than the first time? Um, it's a fight, man. I try to make a gritty fight every single time. So it's always going to be uncomfortable to me. You know what I'm saying? So I always try to go out there, man, and, and put on a banger. Because I told myself, regardless of anything, win, lose, or draw, we're not going to, like, you know, a decision, you know? Mm -hmm. Definitely did not. Uh, the technique that you use, obviously, you said you drilled it. But, I mean, to... To let that go in a fight, I mean, what what's going through your head? Is that did, were you consciously thinking of anything? Yeah, I was conscious of it because he caught my foot the first time. You know what I mean? But I was just hesitant then just to throw it. But the second time, I said, why not? You know what I'm saying? And when I threw it, I connected. I just didn't know I knocked him out until I seen his body go stiff, and I was just like, yeah, that's game over. That's match. <laughs> I think on the broadcast they called it ninja stuff. Uh, Tony Kelly was back here. He called it some uh, Mortal Kombat shit. I call it Wakanda style. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Well, listen, man, that's gonna be on highlight reels for a while. I'm sure people are gonna be talking about your name uh, for the next couple of days. So, what comes next, man? What's the plan for you now? Uh, we'll see, man. I gotta talk to the management team, but I, man, I'm trying to get in here ASAP, man, as soon as possible. You know? Yep. Hey, man. So right after your fight, Dana White went on Instagram Live. I don't know if you saw it. And he said, well, that guy's getting 50 grand no matter what. So uh, congratulations. I appreciate it. Thanks. And then he said, uh, in fact, you might have to get every bonus tonight. So you might. I would love it. I would love it. You know what I mean? Uh, I've been paying attention to the, you know, the first fighters that was going up, but everybody was going to the decision. Everybody was just trying to survive. You know what I mean? I'm out there, you know, you know, live or die, you know? So that's it. You know, anytime I go out there, like I said, I'm trying to take your head off. You take miles off, you know? It's funny, you just said to John that you, you kind of like flying under the radar. I don't think you get to do that anymore. With <laughs> yeah, not anymore. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but so I'm, and going forward, you know, they're probably going to put you in highlight packages and stuff like that. Is it kind of crazy knowing that one kick could have potentially just changed your career path? Most of man, but we got more to show, though. Congrats, man. Mm. Fun, fun. Thank you. Oh. Grab my water.